My name is David Lee. I am French and Senegalese. Um, I grew up mostly in France, but most of my family is in Senegal, in West Africa. Um, I am a telecom engineer by training, and I worked for about six years in finance in Paris uh, and London. And then I decided to do an MBA to do a career switch, and I did that at MIT in Boston. Uh, my venture is called True Mobile, and um, is that we're actually trying to build mobile application for African companies, realizing that smartphones are taking off. You know, uh, the, the, the cost of smartphone is dropping below $50. The cost of data is also dropping. Uh, broadband internet penetration is increasing. And at the same time, um, there's uh, more and more people that are using apps in Africa. But there are not so many uh, companies that create apps in Africa. In fact, uh, there are very few of them. And when they exist, they lack the, 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 the full toolkit uh, to allow them to compete at the global level. So we bring in expertise from the US. We combine them with local expertise in Senegal to build mobile application for those African companies uh, whose culture we understand. So right now we're building three apps for the most visited website in Senegal, which is the second most visited website in Francophone Africa. And we have a lot of apps in the pipeline. So actually I came to MIT uh, to, um, to, to work in finance but related to Africa and when I came there, when I went there I was uh, kind of contaminated by uh, the entrepreneurial spirit so I, I, got, the, I got bitten by the entrepreneur, entrepreneurship uh, bug and um, I, I, I saw many people doing companies and uh, you know I, I, I joined a class at the MIT Media Lab where the goal was to actually create companies I met my business partner, Claude Grinitsky, who is a media entrepreneur who launched Trace TV and Trace Magazine. And uh, we decided to work together on Africa and combining our knowledge of Africa with uh, uh, technologies, specifically telecom. So we got some money from uh, MIT, from the Legatum Center, uh, from Harambe Intel as well, fellowship, to, uh, to do some work in Africa. And uh, you know, I've been focusing on that since I graduated. I graduated last year. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't plan to work for a big company. I'm pursuing the entrepreneurial rules. So, particular challenge is um, building a, a trust and a relationship, you know, building a team that you can rely on and that, uh, that, 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 that achieves its work in, in the higher standards uh, was challenging at the beginning. So, I rely on uh, personal connections, but still, it was very hard to, to get people to you know, deliver on the higher standards, make sure they deliver on time, and you know, uh, it was very hard. But right now, it's, uh, you know, we have a very good team, and um, that, 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 I think that was the main challenge. Um, and um, in terms of Harambe, so I joined Harambe because uh, actually I, I was uh, impressed by the people uh, that were part of the Alliance. And I thought people were all focusing on, you know, delivering a positive message uh, of Africa. And actually, when I was at MIT, I was the president of the Africa Business Club, and I tried to change the image of Africa uh, among my peers. So I brought them to East Africa, to Kenya and Tanzania, to visit many companies. And they came, they came back, and they were amazed. You know, they, they, they were not expecting to see something like that in Africa. You know, they were expecting to see animals. Only. I mean, most of them. So uh, I, I joined the Alliance for that because you know, I, I, I think that most people in this Alliance, um, they, they see challenges as opportunities. You know, they, they, when you have a challenge, you're, trying, you're not complaining about it, you're trying to find a solution to overcome it. I am I'm trying to position it, the, the venture as the leading uh, mobile solution company in Africa. Uh, in West Africa first, and then Africa uh, later. So that, that's my goal. And uh, right now we're focusing on the media and entertainment industry because that's where we have the most expertise, um, and that's where apps make the most sense. But you know, in the future we plan to cover any type of company, and we don't actually plan to only stay in Africa. We want to build apps for the rest of the world. So basically, leveraging um, leveraging the skills that we have built uh, in our team in Africa to serve the whole world.